Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boys, Frogo Reactions, back here with another video. We're filming virtually because I'm at a different house, he's at a different house. Yep, we can meet up this weekend, but we're not going to stop putting up the FLR content. And we got four game week for you games, 13, 14, 15, 16. It was a hell of a week and a big week for Bore Salming. And we're going to get to that at the end of the video, so let's get into it. Here we go. So, first goal of the game is Steven Nosen. Uh, two second goal of the game, second goal of the season for him. Svechnikov and Burns picking up the assist. One nothing Carolina on a power play. And then for the second period, Kelly Yarncrow getting his third of the season. Engvall and Hall picking up assist ties the game in the second period. Going into the third, and then John Tavares doing John Tavares type things, scoring goals, eighth goal of the year for him, Marner and Robertson picking up assists, Robertson is having himself a year, and then William Nylander, fifth goal of the season for him, Matthews picking up the assists, another apple for Matthews, 3-1 Toronto, and that would be the game. Yes, and the stats are 30 shots on goal for the Hurricanes, 21 for the Leafs, Hurricanes were 1 for 2 on the power play, we were 0 for 1 on the power play, 4 penalty minutes for the Leafs, 2 for the Hurricanes, and 25 hits for the Hurricanes over the Leafs, 17 hits, and our record is uh, now improved to 7, 4, and 2. Heading into, so that's a 3-1 win, heading into game 14 back at home against Vegas, seeing if we can get a win against them for the second time, <clears throat> but no, we strike out twice. We strike out against the Vegas Golden Knights, so let's go through it. Nicholas Roy uh, picking up the goal, fourth goal of the year for him. Carrier picking up the assist, one nothing Vegas. And then Timothy Lilligren picking up the goal, uh, first, goal first goal of the season for him. Camp and Aspen Reese picking up the assist, 1-1 uh, tie. Jack Eichel doing Jack Eichel type things, hasn't been great for Buffalo, but been pretty good for Vegas so far. Sixth goal of the year for him. Stone and Stevenson picking up the assist. 2 1 Vegas going into the second period. And then Mitchell Marner getting his third of the season. Matthews and Sandine uh, picking up assists. Ties the game at 2 2. And then Timothy Lilligren, number two for him uh, on his first night back. Marner and Riley picking up assists. It's 3 2 Toronto heading into the third period with a 3 2 lead. And then, of course, that doesn't stick very long because uh, Riley Smith picking up a goal. Sixth goal of the year for him. Carlson and McNabb picking up the assists. Three, three handed Yeah, literally. Uh, that's the least in one pitcher. And then now into overtime, hoping to not allow a goal in the first minute. And what do they do? They do just that. Yep. Riley Smith, seventh of the season. Theodore Carlson. 23 seconds in a pass break and score. What else? Not even expect? a chance. No. And 20 shots on goal for the Knights, 31 for the Leafs. And the uh, Leafs and Knights were both 0 for 2 in the power play with 4 penalty minutes apiece. And 42 hits for the Knights, 34 for the Leafs. And their record is now 7, 4, and 3. Getting one point out of that game, heading into game 15 against the Pittsburgh Penguins back at home. Now this had a storyline here, it was yep. Hall of Fame night, we got to see a lot of people, but mm -hmm. especially the one, the least legend himself, Borea Salmi. Yes. And that was probably the most emotional thing anyone has ever seen, because ever since he was diagnosed with ALS, 
the Leafs fans have been in support of Borea Salming, and he was the star tonight. If your he eyes was- did not water up this game, then maybe you should check your uh, tear ducts, because I'm sure that there's something wrong over there if you didn't cry. <laughs> It was an emotional night, but let's see if the Leafs can win on Hall of Fame night with Boria Salming in the building, Daryl Sittler, everybody in tears, Matt Sundin is there. Let's hope they can win. And what do they do? Let's see. Lanny McDonald as well. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Zach Ashton Reese picking up his second goal of the year, I think. Yes, yes. Zach Ashton yes. Reese picking up his second goal of the year as a Toronto Maple Leaf. Absolute, absolute, just great. Malkin and Camp picking up the assist, one nothing Toronto. Then of getting Malkin destroying the party. Uh, Ruth Wendell, uh, one one tie. And then in the second period, Jason Zucker, boohoo, fourth of the season. Malkin and Pedersen pick up assists. Pittsburgh got a two one lead, but William Nylander on the power play gets the tying goal, six of the season. Riley and Marner picking up assists, heading into the third with a chance, but no. Mm-hmm. Uh, Brock McGinn picking up the goal here. Uh, third goal of the year for him. Heinen picking up the assist. 3 2 Pittsburgh. And then Jake Gensel, eighth goal of the year for him. Crosby picking up the assist. 4 2 Pittsburgh. And that would be the game. And they spoil the night for the Hall of Fame night. And what a bunch of sucks. 30. Uh... Shots on goal for the Leafs, 23 for the Penguins, 0 for 1 on the power play for the Penguins, and 1 for 3 on the power play for the Leafs. Uh, 41 hits for the Penguins, 14 for the Leafs. I think you can tell that there's something wrong there with that big of a difference. 19 blocks and 13 blocks for the Leafs. Our record is now 7-5-3. and three. Heading into Game 16, which was dedicated to the Swedish Just Boris Salming. Salming. The family of Borja Salming in the building tonight for his night. They put a tribute video. It was tears above joy. And yes. Everything was good. He was even crying. You can see he was crying and he needed his wife to console him. It was awesome. Oh my god. Okay, first period starting with the Canucks game. Bo Harvat picking up the goal here. Shen and Pop Colson picking up the assist. one nothing Vancouver. Then JT Miller, eighth goal of the year for him. Hughes and Besser picking up the assist. Second goal of the year. 2 nothing Vancouver on a power play. Let's go. Then heading into the second period, a vintage Austin Matthews shot from the center ice. And Matthews get his seventh of the season on the power play. Marner and Tavares with a scrum in the corner. Pick up assist. Finds Matthews. Beautiful vintage shot. And then the second goal for Pierre Engvall tying the game with what a scrum that that is bunting on the floor doing I don't know what and they're all just shoving it in and Engvall finds the empty net Yarn Crow and Giordano pick up assist 2-2 tie game and who do you expect to get the game winning goal I bet you it isn't Jordy Ben in his first game as a Leaf and gets his first goal as a Leaf Riley Nylander pick up assist 3-2 Toronto what a game for this guy third period no goals that would be the game and a much needed win for the legend number 21, Borea Salming. What a game. Shots were 34 for the Leafs over the Canucks 29. We were 1 for 2 on the power play. Canucks were 1 for 4 on the power play. 38 hits for the Canucks, 30 for the Leafs. And our record improves to 8, 5, and 3. And heading into next week's games, we got the Penguins on Tuesday at 7 p.m. in Pittsburgh. Then on Thursday... We got uh, a three-game homestand starting with the Devils on Thursday, the Sabres on Saturday, and the Islanders on Monday the 21st. So, that's going to be <laughs> that's gonna be exciting. We're heading into some more games and a lot of expected wins to come. And Boris Salming, you will never be forgotten. You will always be in our hearts for Leafs Nation, standing number 21 in the rafters. We are so happy that you could be a part of this organization. And we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace.